and welcome to this guided nature guide meditation, small hypnosis. My name is Desiree from White Wolf and the goal of this meditation is to meet your spiritual guide. A guide is an unknown person mostly from a previous life who is here always to guide you or sometimes a diseased person you've known from this life. I will make sure this meditation will be safe, guarded, and of course, has a nice closure. If you want to start right away, skip to the next chapter by clicking that one in the description. Anyway, let's do some preparation first. What is a nice way, the best way to do a meditation? That's always helpful to know, right? This is what you do. One, make sure you're in a very comfortable seating position or you lay down. Make sure your bladder is empty, nothing is bothering you. Because you're in a nice position, your body has to do as less as possible. This means that your subconscious mind will get more and more access to understand and follow this meditation. Two, it's nice to somehow sit or lay in a position that you usually don't fall asleep in. Three, some people like to have something they trust with them while doing the meditation, like a gem or something. <laughs> Four, Pick a right time. I don't know about you, but when I do a meditation in the evening, I'm having a hard time falling asleep after. And lastly, five, make of course sure that you cannot be disturbed, that the battery of your phone or computer is good to go. Don't expect a package at the door. Turn your mobile phone and alarm off, etc. And make sure that you check that no ads will display accidentally whilst doing this meditation. You can also consider using an ad blocker browser, for example. Then in short, what to expect. That depends on how you usually function when you are relaxed. Do you dream easily? Expect to see things. Are you very sensitive to temperatures? Expect that. Is the meditation safe? You might wonder, of course. Your guide will make sure that you only tap into his or her energy. There are some small exceptions, and this is when you are daily bothered by a bad ghost. You can see my other videos for that. But it doesn't mean this meditation will be unsafe then. It will be just less successful. What is the pro about meeting your guide? That of course, you can ask him or her from now on anything. That you know how to recognize him or her, how she he feels, looks like, smells, anything. This way, you have at the end of the video a new source, which you can tap into for guidance, protection or information. Let's start with the meditation. It's time to close your eyes. Just follow my voice and enjoy. Again, make sure your eyes are closed. Think about the room you are in right now. Try to imagine this room exactly how it is, but with your eyes closed. Focus on all your other senses. Sounds, smells, everything. What do you register? Maybe imagine that you walk around in the room as if it's really true. Just go for it. I'll give you some time to do this and when I speak to you again, you can follow my next instruction. Good job. Thank you for doing this with me. Now I want you to imagine the following. I want you to imagine the room you are in or the place that you are, but then way more beautifully. You don't have to see things, just pretend it's really true. This while you stay seated or lying down. 
So this will still be the place you know and where you are, but better. Maybe bigger or smaller. Are there animals? Are there swings or ponds? What temperature is it? How does it smell there? Is it day or is it night? Use all your senses again. And here too, I will give you time to imagine this. And enjoy this. And do this until I speak to you again. Nice done. Now we're going to imagine another thing. I want you to seek inside yourself a familiar place. It doesn't matter what or where it is, just choose one. First one that comes to mind is probably best. This could be literally anything, anywhere. Something you saw on a holiday, somewhere you've been. Another room in your house simply. A previous house of yours, anything. Something you saw in a movie. Because you're doing this very intuitively, this will help a lot with meeting your guide. So do your utmost best to imagine you're really there. Again, use all your senses. What do you see in your head or imagine? What do you hear? I'll give you some time again to do this. As you might expect, now my instruction is to you, make this new place extremely better and more beautiful again. Really help yourself. How would you upgrade, maybe downgrade, this so that it's your absolute new favorite place? You could even imagine a whole village or forest attached to that place. Did you think about that already? I'll give you some time for that again. Let's go to the next instruction. Please imagine now your own garden, your own balcony, or if you live in a flat, your own front door or piece of grass. Help yourself again to really imagine that you are there. 
and I'll give you some time. Don't go ahead yet. Just be in that garden balcony front door. Now, of course, we're going to make this place again the most beautiful one you can imagine. Think big and don't limit yourself. Really walk around there. I'll give you some time for this again. Good job. Now there's happening something else. Something deeper. Because now you're suddenly seeing or imagining a new route in your beautiful garden where you haven't looked yet. Go explore that. Go see where that path lies. And there's a twist with this garden. At the end of this path is a red door. Maybe you don't see it yet, just make sure you'll find it, because you will, you can. If you're seeing it, don't open it yet. I'll give you a little time to find the door. And before or when I speak to you again, you have found it. Because my voice will simply make sure this is the truth. I'll give you some time. Very good that you found a red door. It's almost time to open it. But this isn't easy. You will only be able to open the door if you're relaxed enough to really receive the connection with your guide. After I'm done speaking, help yourself to become so relaxed that you can open the door. Because that's the only key you need. So don't go too fast. Summarized at the other side of this door is of course your guide, or one of them. If you have opened the door, not now, but in a minute, you can meet each other. Help yourself to really sense them, really register them. For one, it's with the ears. For the other, it's visual. There's no wrong. But it's really important that you help yourself visualize him or her. And up until now, we have been doing nothing but. Every time I asked you to imagine something more beautiful, you weren't really imagining at all. You were just digging up memories 
for everything you're imagining or maybe even a previous life you can't imagine what you've never seen before and you have met your guide so many times before in dreams and of course your other lives and now it's almost time to open the door whilst meeting you can ask him or her questions or the name everything that will come to mind will be good don't filter or correct yourself just let it be if you see a blurry vision or some animal that's also completely fine and normal that's just how the energy feels that moment for some this is new now have a good time and start to try and open that door you will surely get it but give yourself time to relax to find the key or some might call it the power to open the door. I will speak to you again in about seven minutes when it's time to go. But it will be enough time. And hearing my voice is necessary to find your way back safely and don't have a massive headache later. So again, take your time to open the door. This can only be done if you're relaxed enough and therefore powerful enough or found the key to open the door. And then just meet each other. That's it. And after seven minutes from now, I will talk to you again. So then you know it's time to go. Enjoy. You can start opening the door.
so good. You did such a great job. It's time to go, unfortunately. Say your last words if you were talking. Or enjoy the lost images you're seeing right now, or hearing, or smelling. And now I will count down from five to one. And then with each step, you will become less and less relaxed. It's sort of time to wake up. And with every count that I get closer to five, you will notice that the relaxation leaves your body again, giving way to new powerful positive energy. In a moment, not now, you open your eyes. You are clear and alert, wide awake, fit and energetic. You're strong and you feel powerful. And again, the most beautiful gift is that you did meet your guy, even if it wasn't the way you expected it. But you surely registered something. I'm so sure. Prepare for it now. Pay attention. Five. You start to see that the garden path you found is sort of vaguing, fading away. So you start to walk back to your beautiful garden, which is totally your space. Four. Now you see that the garden you're in will actually be your own garden, balcony, piece of grass. You try to see the beautiful garden as long as you can, but it's fading. Three, make way for positive energy. Two, take a deep breath in and out again and send that energy all the way down from your body. It will get better and better for you every day in every way. And one, open your eyes, you're wide awake, fit clear and alert. So good, you did such a great job. Was it hard? Then you can always try again later and it will work for sure. Now you at least know what you can expect and that's in your power. But first, now I would suggest write down everything you sensed. Even the things that didn't feel important now but Maybe it will make sense later, like a certain smell or that you got cold or that you had itches everywhere around your nose. Did you think of asking the name? What was it? Even if it was a really familiar name, just write it down. Maybe the name was just right. Did you talk or did you talk and not your guide or the other way around? What did you talk about? What did you feel, hear, smell? I'm so curious. And of course, let me know how it went. I'm always happy to listen. Also, make sure you drink enough water today. So now let's round up. Did you like this meditation? You know, in fact, this was a super short hypnosis. Thus, therefore, a less deep hypnosis, so with a little lesser results to expect. You can actually undergo one of my hypnosis if you want to in the links below to hypnotize yourself, predict your future, or experience safely your past lives. Anyway, I hope you liked it. Subscribe and maybe I'll see you next time. It was nice to meet you.